Hey guys, and welcome to another video. Um, let's get meme running. So first, if you're running a 32-bit computer, or you're just running something with a decently old DirectX, because BeamNG only supports DirectX 11 anymore, you're gonna wanna... If, okay, I don't know how you did... I don't know what to do if you bought this off Humble Bumble, but I know what to do if you bought it on Steam. So you're gonna wanna go to the little settings icon, you're gonna wanna click on Properties, until it pops up this screen. You're gonna go to betas, you're gonna click select the beta you'd like to opt into, and choose which one you want. Personally, I'm going to go into DirectX 10, because that is, that's what this computer runs. You're gonna wait for it to download. That's all you gotta do. So I'm gonna stop recording until then, and I'll catch you guys back up when it's done. Alright, now that it's finished updating, all you're going to want to do, make sure this is on this computer, make sure this, next to BMG, says DirectX DX10, and make sure it's also saying 0 0.14.0.5. 0 if it does not say that, you are most likely not on the right version of BMG Drive, and it still will not function. Now hit play, wait for Steam to synchronize the cloud, if you have multiple devices of course, if you're only signed in on one device it'll be fine. After that, make sure everything's looking good here. You will have extra of these in the 0.14.0.5 launcher, that's normal, it's an old version. Click play game. Give it a second. You're using an Intel GPU, please choose a different one, dude. Okay. I'm using an Intel GPU, it says built in, but you can use it NVIDIA, you can use AMD, it doesn't matter. Just try to load it. If it doesn't load, then you might need a GPU upgrade. Alright. Now that you're in the game, if you're running a DirectX 10 computer like mine with a Pentium, you're gonna wanna go into options. You're gonna wanna choose a lower resolution to make it less heavy on the CPU. For me, personally, I'm going to go 1280 by 1024. Why not? I need 16 by 9. 1280 by 720. 16 by 9 in 60 hertz or 59 hertz. I'm gonna do 59 to make it less resource intensive. It will look small, but it is a lot less, um, it's a lot less, you know, intensive on the CPU. I'd recommend limiting your FPS to around 40. It just makes it run better. You can leave the gamma however you want it. Now, go to overall quality, lowest. Turn anti-aliasing off. Actually, no, it seems to be running better with anti-aliasing on. Oh, okay. After that, just make sure display shadows is on partial, so you get better performance out of it. Other than that, you can set up any of this however you want it. This is just recommended settings for a computer with basic graphics. So you're gonna go to play, choose what you wanna do. I'm gonna do free roam. We'll try something simple. We'll go to the original grid map. You know what? No, we're not going to grid map. Where's just the grid? Grid small pure. We'll just go here and click spawn. I know this is small, like it's tiny, there's nothing to it. Because it only takes partial of the screen. But if you have a 1280 by 720, 16 by 9 display, this will look fine. I think that one over there is a 1280. But I don't know. I'm not good with displays. Now you're in the game. This is actually running pretty decently. Let's just choose the vehicle. I like Abishu Pigeons. But I might not go with a pigeon. Let's just go with... Gavril H series. And we'll just go with the Vanster work package. 
I'm gonna go with it in navy blue. And now you have a actually decently running game. Now you will have to deal with it being small. But other than that, let's see how playable this is. Like, yeah, look at this. I have no audio for some reason. Let's try to figure out that problem. Hold on. Hit escape. Go into your settings. Disable to under options. You're gonna go to audio. Audio provider F mod. Sound sources high. Normal test. There we go. My computer was on mute. the sound of the old engines better in this game. Okay. Let's try a different car to make sure we're completely stable. Actually, no. Let's see if we can increase this to our 1980, or 1920 by 1080. Will it let us? Oh yeah, that's a lot more sluggish. All right, let's try lowering it to 1600 by 900. It's a little more playable now. Let's try 1440 by 900. It's not bad, but I'd recommend going with your lowest possible resolution if you're running a stock computer. Let's just try four by three. It's playable. Like, playable. As in, uh, it, it's not playable. Anyways, uh, I'm gonna end the video before my camera's battery dies, so. That's just a quick tutorial on basically how to get BeamNG running on an old computer that is not made for it. That only has, like, DirectX 10 or DirectX 9. I'll show you how to do it for DirectX 9, but I'm not personally going to do the DirectX 9 version because I'm rocking a DirectX 10 video card. So first, we're just going to exit Beam. We'll just go to exit. Okay. So the way you're going to want to get the DirectX 9 version to run instead of the DirectX 10 version is just go to Settings, Properties, go to your Betas, and then you can either go 32-bit or DirectX 9. I'm going to keep it on DirectX 10 because that's how it's running best. So yeah, that's been the tutorial on how to get DirectX 10 support back for BeamNG. Unfortunately, I'm not sure if you can do it with the new BeamNG update yet. I don't think you can because I think it'll be too graphically intensive on Intel GPUs. You may be able to do on a AM or a AMD or NVIDIA GPU though. Like I've got a DirectX 11-12 NVIDIA GTX 1650 Ti 4 gig in my gaming laptop with an paired with an i7 9750H and it runs smooth as butter. Now, one thing I would not recommend doing with an old computer like this one, as far as Beam goes, uh, I would not recommend doing Beam MP because even with a 1650 Ti or a 1650 Max Q and an i7 9750H, 
that laptop still struggles. And it's got 16 gigs of RAM, too, so I, um... I wouldn't recommend it with this. I'm literally rocking the minimum specs for this game, like below the minimum specs. They recommend an NVIDIA card. They say it won't work with the Intel graphics, but it does. So I'm going to end the video here because I've got other things to do. So, And my camera's probably going to die soon because it was only like 38% when I started recording. So I'll catch you guys later in the next video. Peace out.